you remember that record-setting offense the New England Patriots had in 2007, the one where then-quarterback Tom Brady threw for 4,806 yards, 50 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions, the one where number one receiver Randy Moss had 1,493 yards receiving with 23 touchdowns, where slot receiver Wes Welker had 112 catches, tight end Ben Watson did his damage too, and running back Kevin Falk caught passes out of the backfield. When it was time to run the ball, Lawrence Maroney handled it. That was a hell of an offense McDaniels had back then, and it looks like he's trying to create another version of it with the Las Vegas Raiders. There's just one more piece they need, and from what I'm hearing, they're looking for it. We start with trigger man Derek Carr. And don't come at me in the comment section with all that, Are you trying to compare Derek Carr to the greatest quarterback ever? No, I'm not. Tom Brady isn't even that version of Tom Brady anymore. This is about players playing roles to replicate McDaniel's ideal offense. Carr qualifies for the role because he can make every throw a quarterback can possibly make on the football field. So distributing the ball to his playmakers won't be a problem. And number one in the pecking order of ball distribution will be number one receiver Devontae Adams. That's the same role that Randy Moss was in. Adams has the best release in the NFL, runs the best routes in the NFL, and has among the best hands in the NFL. He also has a 40 inch vertical leap, so he can beat you deep or underneath. And if he gets you underneath, he can run after the catch. Like Moss, he has a complete number one receiver skill set. In the slot, we have route running extraordinaire Hunter Renfro. Renfro will be playing the role of Wes Welker. He's already established himself as Carr's go to guy on third down and three to six. Hence, he gets the name Third and Renfro and Slot Machine. In year three last year, when prospects show you who and what they really are, Renfro had over 100 catches last year for over 1,000 yards, so it's easy to see he fits Welker's role. The tight end position is where McDaniels has a leg up on what he had in 2007. Ben Watson came in at the beginning of the modern era athletic freak tight ends. He was 6'4", 260, and a 4-5-40 and had a 35 and a half inch vertical lead. And Darren Waller, a college receiver, is the leader of the current era of the athletic freak tight end. He's 6'6", 260, can get up to 22 miles per hour and has a 40 inch vertical lead. Catching passes out of the backfield, Kenyon Drake has more speed, so he's a little more dangerous in open field. And when it comes to purely running the ball, that's all 2019 first round pick Josh Jacobs. He had back to back thousand yard seasons in his first two years. And after struggling a little bit last year with injuries, he literally ran the Raiders into the playoffs. Jacobs is a hard man to bring down as he's always among the league's leaders in forced missed tackles. He just has to stay healthy. All the Raiders need now is a blazer to go on the other side of Adams. They made a run at Brandon Cooks, but that didn't quite work out. And so far, the Raiders have had pre-draft visits with Danny Gray, Eric Izukama, and Traylon Burks. Gray and Izukama both ran their 40s in the 4-3s. And while Burks ran in the 4-5s, he blazes people on the football field. So the Raiders are definitely looking for some speed to make McDaniel's offense like it was in 2007. With Carr as the trigger man, his number one receiver is going to be Adams, who's not quite as fast as Moss, but he's the top number one receiver just like he was. And when you look at Hunter Renfro and Wes Welker, they're darn near carbon copies of each other. And of course I have to give it to Waller over Watson as far as freaky athletic tight ends go. Jacobs and Drake are upgrades over Maroney and Falk in the backfield. So all the Raiders need now is an outside blazer to recreate McDaniel's ideal offense. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.